In the weather-carved landscapes of the American Southwest live a people scarred by hundreds of years of history. Ancient civilizations live on as nations within a nation. Here, a small team of believers are called in holiness and service to overcome the barriers of the past through the extraordinary power of the surpassing love of Christ. A leader is someone you would follow to a place that you wouldn't go by yourself. And I think many times that's where the native people are and they need to step up to the next level. If the right people would come alongside and, and assist and help, that will make a big difference in our native pastors continuing to grow. And so we're looking for opportunities to work alongside of native Christians and leaders to reach their own communities. One of the things I believe Jesus taught us through his model was as he came and was part of people's lives that we need to come and be part of people's lives also. The method is not the thing that's the most important. It's the truth of the gospel and the discipleship so that the people will rise up and take their place in God's plan. That is what we need among our Native American people. I teach because I want to make a difference in their lives. And I want them to realize that they can do it. Even with all this hopelessness, there is a way out. The only way out, of course, is with Jesus Christ. As the Native American children of today mature into the church of tomorrow, as the barriers of the past are broken down one generation at a time, as the love of Christ is revealed through his faithful servants, the hope for the future of the body of Christ among Native Americans continues to grow.